Okay, this is a tutorial video on how to get started with a Raspberry Pi and a capacitive touchscreen. Uh, so these are kits that I've put together uh, for you that should have everything needed to, uh, to get everything up and running. Um, it's really important that you follow the instructions closely for this. Uh, these kits are fairly expensive and so, uh, and they are easy to mess up. So we're gonna get started by opening up the kit. And the first thing that you're gonna see on the inside is your seven inch capacitive touchscreen. So we'll go ahead and kind of take that and put that to the side. And then underneath that are gonna be all the tools that you'll need to get it up and running. So we've got a USB cable, we've got an HDMI cable, a power cable, another power cable, our Raspberry Pi, and I've gone ahead and I have installed Raspberry uh, or Raspbian, the operating system that runs on it. Uh, you'll need to uh, take this SD card that has it installed on it and put it into this SD slot. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we've got a screwdriver and two different kinds of screws. USB power block and a stylus. All right, so to get started, we're going to open up our screen. And this does have the protected film on it. You're going to want to leave that on uh, until you are kind of completely done with your project. Um, but we're going to flip this over and orient it so that portable display is here at the top. Uh, now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to mount the Raspberry Pi to this uh, this display here. Um, you're gonna want to orient it this way with the, the USB ports coming out this side. Uh, and then there are four small screws um, that come with it. And you can line those up. And you wanna make sure that you have these snug, but don't over tighten. You can actually crack the board that way and that would not be a good idea. Okay, and so. Snugged up along here. All right, so that's looking good. So we've got that on nice and tight. So let's go ahead and the next thing that we're going to do uh, is a little bit of a tricky part. This is going to take just a lot of finesse, uh, and that's getting our HDMI cable um, plugged into uh, the actual touch screen. Okay, so when plugging in the HDMI cable, that's this little ribbon cable that's got HDMI on the other end, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this spot right here, and we're actually gonna flip this little black lever up and raise it to this position. We're gonna take our HDMI cable with the metal contacts facing down, and we're gonna slide it in as far as it will go, and then push this down, and that should crimp it into place. And then you can take your HDMI cable here and plug it in and you're good. Okay. Uh, now at that point then, uh, we are ready to give uh, power to the touch screen. And to do that, we're gonna take this little piece here. Uh, now we're gonna connect it to this area here that says 5V plus touch. Uh, these do only go in one way, and so make sure that they are lined up nicely. And they should just slide right in to get them oriented in the right direction. Okay. So, and then these get plugged into one of the uh, USB ports. Like so. Okay. Now at this point, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add power to the board. Now this is where things get a little tricky, and so you want to really make sure you take your time uh, to get these in the right spot, otherwise you will fry the, uh, uh, the uh, Raspberry Pi. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to these header pins, and we're going to go to the top left, and we're going to take one of the reds and put it in the very top left. We're going to take another one and put it right next to it in the, in the second pin on uh, the top left. And then we're going to take the ground one and plug that in right next to it. So we're all along this top row. We've got red, red, black. Okay. Again, coming over here, and there's only one way that this should plug in. 
we can come over here to the power connector and snap that in right there. Uh, and then what's left is adding in this little micro SD card. Okay, and it's gonna come in over here in this little slot and notice how these gold pins are facing up. And you can just slide that right into the SD card reader um, on that side. Okay, now at this point, we're gonna power it up and see if it works. plug in our power brick. Okay, and for this, it's gonna get plugged into the Raspberry Pi uh, power in part right here. Okay, so we'll plug that in, flip this over, and see if it works. All right, so you'll notice that it automatically loads the Hackberry Lab uh, homepage. Uh, we're gonna be changing this later on uh, to automatically load your uh, uh, projects page, um, but this is just to show you how we can uh, actually get it to log right into uh, a website for us so that it's just gonna act just like a kiosk. And so you notice that you can kind of scroll and touch, you can drag everything around. And so, yeah, at this point, it's good. Um, now, when you are kind of configuring things, you can go and plug a mouse and a keyboard into the back of this. Um, when you're working with it with your users, uh, then they'll just be able to touch and navigate around your page. Okay, so that leaves a couple of things left. Uh, the question is, what are these four screws for? Um, and so these are your mounting screws um, that you're gonna use to mount it into your kiosk. They'll go through these four holes in the corners here. Uh, and then if you want to incorporate the, the, the stylus into your design, uh, you're certainly welcome to. It's not a requirement. Um, it is sensitive to, to fingers and to the stylus. And so that's just a, an added option for you. Um, and so again, just you know, take your time, take care with these screens um, and just be really careful with them. Uh, we will need them back. So each group has their name on the box so we can make sure that we get them all back in full uh, working order, um, but that'll get you started. And uh, like I said, we'll include instructions on how to uh, uh, navigate around on these to change up the uh, the homepage. Um, but for the meantime, that's it.